In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. Asher, I never ran away from you. Actually, I'm still fighting every day for you, whether it's in prayer or action. Doing these videos is part of the action part. But also, um, you know, I can't live in a state that doesn't provide for me financially or make it available the finances you know you have to have money to live in a place and my mother clearly changed the locks and kicked me out with her boyfriend so i can't live at her house while she uh tries to steal from me and that's a big part of the problem my father said i would have a place to live in washington and he flipped almost immediately when i got there and said i wouldn't have a place to live I mean, that's a basic need that you need to live in places. I did not run away. I wasn't given resources. The church did not help me. I asked many times at uh, St. Anthony's in Southeast Portland with new you and I uh, for help, and they just turned a blind eye. And they actually, um, they kind of made fun of me, and they weren't very good. They basically... Uh, basically made fun of me and uh, you know how are you supposed to live someplace where people just simply do not help I tried to apply for work there I put the priest down as a uh, uh, as a referral I never got a call back let's just say that this stuff is probably a design well it's definitely not God doesn't like what's going on but he's going to use it, hopefully, the conversion of my mother and for the Heifetz family and for my father and their marriage reuniting. I mean, he can use the suffering good ways. But Asher, by no means, I didn't run away. And you're more than welcome to contact me and, uh, you know, to, to reject this family nonsense and tell the state that you want to live with your mother full time. All that is totally acceptable and, and stuff you're then more than welcome to do. You don't have to keep being manipulated by by relatives just on the fact they say they're relatives. The loss is you have to love God first and the neighbor yourself. And that's what my parents like to do. They like to flip the Ten Commandments around or pervert it to say, well, everything's about just honoring your father and your mother carte blanche. No matter what we say, you have to do it. And that kind of micromanagement dictatorship has got to end in our family. That's not the Ten Commandments. That's a perversion of the law. And it's a great injustice when you see the fruits. I haven't seen you in uh, almost 10 years.